No, they find, they swear, they smash things. They are among the <coughs> toughest to teach boys in the country, and many have been expelled from school time after time. But not everyone has turned their back on them. Yeah, Mugdam House in Sussex is a specialist boarding school, a last chance saloon, if you like, for boys with emotional and behavioural problems. And for the first time, cameras have been allowed in to see it. In a moment, we will speak to the headmaster, but first, here is a quick look at the documentary. <laughs> to boys whose behaviour is so bad they become unteachable. <laughs> Muntham House in West Sussex has taken in 56 of the hardest to teach in Britain. I go to uh, HHD schools, DDHC schools, f***ing school, I don't know what it's called. Mm -hmm. For losers. Most have been excluded. All have emotional and behavioural difficulties. Oh my God! Each term, the state-funded boarding school becomes their entire world. It's where they eat, sleep, and learn. This is called patience. With more than two staff members for each boy, the school has one goal. To steer them away from a life of trouble and prepare them for the real world. Aged 8 to 18, the boys must learn to control the very behaviour that threatens to ruin their lives. Richard Boyle is a man in charge at Muntham House, and I have to congratulate you and all your staff for the work that you do. Um, they are very... I mean, how would you describe the children, the boys that come to... Well, they have a number of uh, descriptions. Uh, you know, the common one is uh, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or we have young people on the autistic spectrum as well uh, with Asperger's syndrome. Effectively, though, they uh, have difficulty in mainstream education, um, where mainstream education can't manage their behaviour, manage their learning... Um, and so they become marginalised gradually, or, um, quite rightly, the education services think that these young people need a better or a different kind of uh, education system. Well, what can you offer them that an ordinary school can't? Well, coming up on the train, I was thinking about that. It, it, mostly it's time. We, we, we can spend a lot of time with these young people, and we learn, uh, we learn them. Mm -hmm. Uh, and once we understand them and they understand uh, our, in, our intentions, then we can, we can negotiate their learning for the, for the rest of the time that they're, they're, they're with us at Muntham House. And they, to get to work, to come to your school, they have what, been thrown out of school, expelled? What 40% have been with? excluded, um, but quite a lot are referred to us, uh, as I said, either through parents um, or um, through the local authorities who realise that these young people needed something slightly different from mainstream yeah. education, 30 children in a classroom, uh, and the pressures that that brings. Mm. Um, one of your teachers uh, had a son who struggled in much the same way as uh, the boys mm -hmm. in the program. She uses his story to mm -hmm. educate them. Let's take a look at that. I know a boy very well, and he threw a rubber, a little rubber, in a lesson because he was bored, and it hit a teacher in the eye. <laughs> it's not funny. It took her eye out. She's blind. She has no eye. He was put in handcuffs. That's weird. That's weird, isn't it? That's really weird, isn't it? Why is it weird? Because Mr. Bard told me exactly the same story in the car. And do you know why? Why? Because that boy I'm talking about was my son. Mm. And he did it by mistake, bored. It is a very serious, dangerous thing to do, to flick anything. So her son went to the school and now she's teaching. No, her son didn't go to the right. school, but she used her son so as, as an, an example. example. Um, and, that, and again, that's one of the things that we do. It's, a, um, it's been explained as a personality exchange that we have with our young people. We, you know, we, we, we show them and we tell them who we are, yeah. and that transparency and that openness works. I mean, the, some of the behaviour is very challenging. It's, it's sort of a light way of putting it, really. Um, your staff are taught uh, in restraining techniques. I mean, mm -hmm. what are they allowed... To do because some of the children are, are quite violent. Well, they are. They are. Um, the restrictive physical intervention that we use uh, is is actually quite mild. Most of the time, it's a it's an arm around the shoulder and guiding away. It's mm -hmm. not full court press or a wrestling match. It's it's done very specifically, and it's rarely uh, used. I have to say, uh, most of the time, it's about just separating people and guiding them away. Um, once in about three or four. Maybe three or four times a year, you might need to see a serious level of restraint, but they, but those are rare. That doesn't mean that we don't quite often get involved uh, physically with the young people, but um, it's 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 not a sort of serious. Uh, what's, your, what's your success rate with with these boys? Are there cases where even you 
can't help them. About one a year, um, who, uh, and those are usually young people who negotiate only through violence. This, you know, this, we, we, we try and we try, but they won't buy into the culture of the school. And effectively what happens is they, they, they marginalise themselves even from us. But most of our young people go off to the same things as everybody else does, university, uh, further education, apprenticeships. And in fact, we have two boys at the school who were uh, at the school who now work uh, for us um, uh, on the estates team. So. The thing is, there are children out there who perhaps could benefit from this type of education, but they can't, it can't be given to everybody, can it? It's difficult to get to uh, a school like ours. Ours is non-maintained, so um, uh, mostly what would happen is that they would end up in units within mainstream schools, then they may go to a pro, then they may go to a, a mainstream special school, uh, mm -hmm. sorry, a maintained special school. Beyond that, the schools like ours, so it is very difficult to get there. Um, but with better training in mainstream, hopefully, you know, the problem uh, will reduce. Are you sharing that? We're hoping to from uh, September with the, the new um, uh, local offer. Uh, work from the new bill that's come through the Children and Families Act. We should be able to do something. Yes. Richard Boyle, thank you very much. Thank you. Last